going to the final game of the stream. Is that Jody Jones? I saw something pick up about Jones being injured for the rest of the season, but I didn't see the team. So I didn't know whether they were on about the Manchester United, uh, Phil Jones, or your Jody Jones. Because they're the only two Joneses I know that were slightly injured. So that's bad news for you. Really bad news. For you with my good friend Alan Smith. Yeah, hi there, Martin. Walking into the ground today, I've just got that feeling. Feeling it's going to be a really good afternoon. Well, here is the team sheet for the home side. We've got it down as a 4 3 3. Yeah, it's a system that the Abraham used to use. gets a bit of space. Abraham shoots. He's off the post. Layers there to finish it. Abraham can't really score, but that is a good finish from Leia to finish it up. It's good play by Abraham. Really good play. Really good shot as well. But he just can't find the back of the net. He's pulled his ACL. I know that. I know that feeling all too well. My last time I properly played football, 11, organised 11 aside football, I ruptured my ACL and um, strained my... No, sorry. Ruptured my ACL t and tore my a slight tear on my um, LCL. So unfortunately, I know exactly what that feels like. So I'm assuming, I'm assuming he's going in for surgery. Capra Dossi again. Yeah, definitely an early shout for me from Capra Dossi. For loan player of the season, and if possible, and depending on how things go through the rest of the season, we may be able to buy him outright next season. But that will be down to you guys in the chat to let me know which player I can do. Yeah, that's why he did. Yeah, it's not good. So if the if the, if the put, put whether whether you've had surgery yet, and has he been a success, or is the surgery just planned? Really, he, oh, he's oh, okay. So he's he's having it done. Fair enough. The, the, to be perfectly honest, from my experience, the surgery procedure, it's actually when they do the surgery and all that. Oh no, no hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, it's a good goal from Barry. Not on the wrong side of me. Got a bit of play. She's got the wrong side of that man, Capra Dossi. Oh, it's a good finish. And the surgery and the scarring that's left afterwards is very minimal, unless. Unless I show people, I don't get my knees out in public that often, but unless I show people where they actually were, you, you wouldn't really see them. So it's not like back in the day where you used to have like a big, like a line scar through your knee or something like that. It's like just literally like two pot marks on the side of your leg, which is really good. Can we have a corner, please? Yeah, we can. He was stretched off his Steven. Oh, it's always not, it's not, not a bad, it's not a good side, that isn't. In goes the corner. Corner. <sighs> Layer, what are you doing flying in like that? to switch on the attacking power in this situation. It's good play until they got, got play back out, but why didn't my man run to the ball? Well done, Andre. No, I didn't want that pass to go there. Murray, that's the cut inside. We'll go all the way out to TAA. Up to Tammy, you just how that how he kept the ball, I don't know. Robinson, that's just too deep, it. but Caicedo's not going to be able to get it. Were you at the game on Tuesday, by the way? Sky Blue, uh, sorry, Roblox. I know you changed your name, but I'm just going to stop. Still going to call you Matt. Ah, don't, don't. The thing is, I know you're missing your best player, but it's one of those that. Sometimes, it, I mean, teams can go one of two ways, in my opinion. When something like that happens, yes, they can just completely capitulate 
and that's it. You're, they're done. You know, they don't they don't put anything more in. But sometimes everyone else just thinks, right, we're gonna have to work that little bit harder to get this. You know, because obviously we're missing we're missing him. We're gonna have to work that little bit harder. You, you've got to you've got to give your team time to react. I think. Are you sure? Yes, don't get me wrong. Cracking player. Probably. I know you're not going to like me say this, but probably shouldn't be at Coventry. You know, probably should be a little bit higher up in the in the football in the football tree. But it's one of those that it, there's going to be a day where he's not going to be available, whether he be because of an injury or he's because of he's been sold. And you know that's uh, yeah. Ross has just said one player doesn't make a team. Yes, it hurts in that moment where you need that little bit of quality that he could bring. But it might galvanise the team. You know, it might make, as I said, might make everyone work that little bit harder to push towards the goal. Quick witted and quick in his movement too to intercept there. Now, if you lost four players Riley. for the season, then yeah, I would probably. I'd probably agree with you that if you lose four of your starting eleven from the team, the at League Two level, your depth is no, sorry, yeah, League Two level, the depth is not that great. So if you lost four players, then yes, completely agree with you. Completely agree. Don't, don't get don't get me wrong, Matt, but he's still young and he's still growing. It's on the move all the time and makes lots of these interceptions. He's still getting better. And so is his hair, really. Riley. Barry are playing well, really knocking it about, making him just chase shadows at the minute. Oh no 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 no! Caught, get caught. Okay, fair enough. If you've lost three, <coughs> if you've lost three of your best players, then fair enough. I can kind of, I can kind of see that. I can kind of see that, mate. If you've lost three of them, I can kind of see it. But and then uh, I can see what you're saying that now it's gone because Jody's gone down. He's the he was the last piece of the puzzle. Yeah, I can understand that you're feeling on that now. On the attack here. Good defending. Good movement forward here. Lay it. Here's an opportunity, oh, maybe. No, I, it's one of those, though. It's the same as. Yeah, I, I agree with that, but it's, I wouldn't exactly say that, but you say championship team. If you move to like a, um, a, a slightly. I'd say a QPR of the world. You know, a, a championship team with a good pedigree, but not doing too well in recent years. Then. He's what you call it. He's got time to improve. It's like the, the way that I saw. I thought that Adam Ola Luckman moving to Everton was going to be a good move for his career, but he hasn't played. He's played in the Champions, um, the Europa League, a couple of times, and he still plays well. And he, but he can't get a sniff in the Premier League. Robinson drills it low. Two-one Port Vale. We've got back the lead. You know, it's one of those that. That's it, and that's it. It's, it's the setup, it's the coaching. He could play for the reserves, and then he'd be around players. It'd be around, learning from someone like Jurgen Klopp. No one's really going to turn that down. Let's face it. If someone told me 
that right, you, you, you're going to be signing for Liverpool just to learn under Jurgen Klopp, I'd go. I would. I know I'd want to be playing football, but you start... No, I know, I know. I I just it's one of the one of those, Matt. I picked QPR just out the top of my head because I couldn't think of another good champ, good-ish championship team that aren't performing as well as potentially they should be. You know, it's that that was it. That was the only reason why I picked them. I was initially going to say Wolves, but Wolves are performing really well, and you wouldn't fit in that team because. They're playing just astronomically well at the minute. They've got a really good setup, really good mindset, and it would take him a while to get into that team. So QPR, I just a team, a team like that that's not doing too well. So it's time for a change. They've got to oh, get that time nearly. Here they are on the attack. Nice bit of interplay between these two. Oh no 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 Norwich, that was another team I was thinking about. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, now, now we can talk about a team. So that that would be it. That that kind of team. Oh, Murray, breaking forward. He looks tired as anything right now. But that is a good goal. And that is now three-one to Port Vale. Sit, God, have a rest, Murray. That was a good run. That was a good run. Have a rest. And he must be thrilled. Probably beyond even his wildest dreams. They attack, they score. Plays they attack, a 1-2. Tammy Abraham is a better provider than he is a scorer. Right What's wrong? Oh, that's sad to see. That's sorry to hear that, Owen. Cold flu. Hopefully it's nothing too much, much nothing more serious than that, mate. I really hope not. But hope you get better soon. And we've given away a free kick for pushing someone over. Don't let him take a quick free kick. Don't let him take a quick free kick. Good boy. Oh, we haven't, make it, we haven't made any substitutions. Let's change that. So, let's take Dazelle off. And we're going to give Gibbs a run out. We're going to let Warrell come back in for Kais. And we're going to switch wings with Robinson. And we're also going to bring on Turner for Murray. Taylor for Murray, sorry. Madison's a good player. Yeah, Madison is a good player. Yeah, I no, I saw when I saw that transfer, I was doing me wrong. From a, a personal standpoint, I was happy to not play that kind of quality of player in League Two. I'm not gonna lie, but yeah, it's one of those that Norwich have definitely got themselves a good player there. Makes a challenge here, and he gets ahead to it, but can only knock it out of play. And they're going to make this change now. Oh, he's done well. He's got his goal from midfield. Yeah, he's had a good, solid game. And the oh, ball well. that's a really adventurous that ball. Well Riley wins the header. No time to panic. There's still time to change this game. Well, I think we're going to see some some boot one stuff here, Martin. Player to Warrell. His first touch after returning from injury. Tammy. I didn't shot. want you to shoot. I wanted you to fake shot, Tammy. Almost a ten out of ten. Uh, certainly a candidate for man of the match. He's not going to play the whole match though. And to be substituted here now. Yeah, he was involved good in most things that were good here for his team. Top class. Moving forward with some danger to the oh, opposition. Robinson's now a little bit here. off balance when he's trying to play that pass. That's the thing. Did any of you guys read that news about Michael Carrick today? Or I don't know whether it was released yesterday or or early this morning. Taylor shoots from range. Good save from the keeper. Any of you read that? Great header. What a save. Capra Dossi, how's your touch? Some potential in this move. Gibbs. Wonderful chance. Oh, gets a bit of space. Gibbs can't shoot though. Yeah, just leaning back a touch, got under it, 
Not bad effort, though. No. Um, well, Michael Carrick hasn't really played in, um, in first team action since September when he played for Man United versus Burton in the, the Carabao third. Cup, the League Cup. And the reason is because he had a heart problem. In the second half, he felt something strange and he felt weird. So he had surgery to correct an irregular heartbeat. And he's been monitored for, 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 since then to try and slowly build up his training. He's only just starting to come back to full fitness and hopefully be back in the, in the, in the first team soon. So, yeah, guys, if any of you... Obviously, when you get a little bit um, older or is the chances to go and get your heart screened at one of these places because it is on, we don't know what's going on, but there's just a lot of like professional footballers now that are obviously finding that they've had issues in the past or developing issues as they get slightly older. But it's hitting, it's hitting quite a few players nowadays. So if there's anything going on in your schools or your, your, your football club or anything like that, go get, go get yourself screened just for peace of mind. And if there is something wrong, they can get you the help that you need before it becomes an issue. But yeah, so Michael Carey, the, 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 he's been playing football for how many years? I think he's 36 now, Michael Carey. And yeah, he only just found. And he's only just found out that he had an irregular heartbeat, that he developed an irregular heartbeat. And he's had it sorted, he's fine, he's healthy. So yeah, he should be back fit soon, but he's been closely monitored throughout his training process. Because that, again, could have been another one of those players that Michael Carey could have had to retire because of a heart problem. So yeah, strange. But anyway, that is the game one against Berry. Vale absolutely dominated again. We're fi definitely finding, definitely finding some form now. Definitely find some fun.